Hi, I'm Cam Mooney and this is Leading Ideas, an original series from Ford Ranger and Fox Footy. I'm going to be exploring smarter thinking in modern football. Not missing that stellar game. It's all about bravado. How do they get the best out of themselves? And you're going to come with me. In 2012, Shane Mumford underwent cutting-edge surgery to recover from his chronic knee issues and extend his playing career. I've had quite a few things go wrong over the years. I think with the way I play, it was quite, quite a physical, taxing sort of style of game. At some stages, it would take me until sort of Thursday, Friday before I'd actually feel decent again coming into the, the following week. The prevention and management of chronic injuries is a key consideration for AFL clubs and its players. Leroy Lobo is a former AFL team physio. The old school type of football, you know, it was all about bravado and doing whatever you can, leaving it all out in the park. But it's really important to look after a player to ensure that their career lasts for a very long time. He had full faith that I could get the, the full term out of my contract. I, uh, I, I myself wasn't too sure. Shane was looking at a way to ensure he had longevity in his career. And one thing that, you know, came to our attention and his attention was the use of stem cells. I'd heard from a few other people um, that they'd had good results from using it. Adam Goods had tried it. It worked for him. First step for Shane was he had to fatten up, and everyone knows how much Shane loves a sausage, so it was probably his favourite part of the whole process. They liposuction the, the fat out of the stomach uh, under a bit of local anaesthetic. The doctor then pulls out some of the stem cells. They re-inject that into his knee. So they use parts of your body, parts that encourage a normal healing process, and they try and encourage a normal healing process that isn't occurring for whatever reason. I knew that I had to be setting the right example, whether it be training, whether it be in the gym, whether it be with my rehab. I'd spend a lot of time, or thousands and thousands of hours, in the uh, the Alter G treadmill. Uh, so instead of running at 100% body weight, most of my stuff was sort of done at 80, which obviously takes a, a lot less load off through my knee. And since then, my knee problems have certainly disappeared. The surgery not only allowed him to prolong his AFL career, it has also allowed him to remain extraordinarily active post-career. Uh, my body feels great and obviously in good enough shape to, to be able to run around or dance around the boxing ring, I guess. Um, well, I think I was a guinea pig for the Giants. Um, I think there's a lot more science behind it now to say that, yes, it does work. I've got a family to look after and I want to be able to run around with my kids for, for years to come. So it was thought, well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. It certainly worked out in the end.